Money Mike, Bobby Shaw, Judge Mo Dollars, and a pimp named Slickback are some of the memorable characters and moments Cat Williams has given us since his breakout 2002's Friday After Next. Fans of comedy would fall in love with Williams' raw and unfiltered approach to stand-up comedy, as well as his animated and energetic performances on TV and movie screens. In the early 2000s, Williams was everywhere, and it was easy to assume he had become an overnight success. However, when Cat finally blew up, he had nearly a full decade of performing stand-up under his belt. Cat became an underground legend in comedy without having to water himself down for the mainstream. Unfortunately, this could now be one of the reasons why you don't see him as much anymore. Cat's unfiltered style was probably too honest for the masses, which could have prevented him from fully crossing over. That, along with incidents off stage and his independent stance in Hollywood, looked to have played as factors as to why Cat Williams' visibility slowed down. Here's why you don't hear from Cat Williams as much. Throughout the 90s, Williams worked and perfected his craft, eventually becoming a regular at every top comedy club from Oklahoma to Oakland. The Improv, the Ice House, and the Hollywood Park Casino were all places you could see Cat performing his electrifying act. Now, it wouldn't be long before Hollywood started calling. And in 2002 is when many of us watching this very video first learned about Cat Williams as he was still seen in 2002's Friday After Next as Money Mike. Williams' one-liners from the film would end up becoming repeated across the country. From there, he would go on to be casted in a supporting role on The Tracy Morgan Show and also made a number of appearances on several more sitcoms like My Wife and Kids, Girlfriends, Cuts, as well as being a cast member on the first three seasons of Wild and Out. Now, right around this time is when Williams would make another major appearance for his career at BET's first ever Comedy Awards in 2004. That night, in front of a sea of Black Hollywood's best, he would precisely demonstrate his gift of stand-up comedy with nearly a seven-minute performance. This moment officially stamped his name in Hollywood. Now, TV wasn't the only place to see Williams. He would go on to land more films like The Perfect Holiday, First Sunday, Norbit, and Lonely Street. In addition to Hollywood, Cat would make sure to juggle his stand-up career around the same time with comedy specials and touring. Since 2005, Cat has released nine stand-up comedy specials and also appeared on BET's Comic View, Comic Relief, and Deaf Comedy Jam. He also hosted the Roast of Flavor Flav and the BET Hip Hop Awards. At one point, Cat was everywhere. But in recent years, we don't see the comedy legend as much. And under the microscope that comes with fame, for some has revealed why Cat has become less visible, starting with social media. In this day and age, social media has become an amplifier for an entertainer's career, the direct line to their audience. Upon research, Williams has been very inactive across all social media. His last tweet dates back to June of 2018, and before that mainly consisted of promotional links to his live shows. His Facebook has also been inactive since July 4th, 2018. Now as far as Instagram, Williams has yet to create an official page. However, back in September of 2018, he would create a hidden page under the name Valiant Vader. There, he would use Instagram's live feature to engage with his followers, and his last post on the actual page dates back to December 1st, 2018. Despite all his success, it is well documented that it's been hard for Cat to stay out of trouble. In November 2006, Cat was arrested at LAX after a stolen gun was found in his briefcase when police had stopped him at a security checkpoint. Williams would end up being arrested an additional 12 times. In addition to his legal issues, Williams would also get himself into trouble at a few of his live shows. For instance, on August 27, 2011, Williams performed at the Celebrity Theater in Phoenix, Arizona. Cat was caught on camera responding to a heckler of Mexican descent who was allegedly offended by some of his remarks. Days later, Williams would appear on CNN to discuss the incident and made sure it was known that he didn't apologize for the matter. I'm not allowed to. As a stand-up, the only thing I sell is uncensored thought. I'm not allowed. Then, to come back the next day and apologize. That's for the Tracy Morgans of the world. I meant what I said. I said what I meant. Now, fast forward to a stop in Seattle. After a series of incidents, things would appear to be too much for Cat as he would decide to take a small break from performing altogether. 
and in 2012, Williams announced he was retiring from stand-up. I'm just going to go ahead and announce my retirement from stand-up. I'm kind of done. I've discussed it with my kids. Thankfully, the retirement was short-lived, as just two days later, a representative of Cat would talk to TMZ. Cat is definitely not retiring. He will be moving forward with the tour. The reason why he made the remarks was due to him feeling totally disrespected by all the things that happened to him in the city of Seattle. He had a moment where he felt underappreciated. He now just wants to move forward from those unfortunate events and give his fans outstanding shows from this point forward. Cat would move forward with his career, but unfortunately, more incidents would occur in the years ahead including a scuffle with a teenager that would go viral in 2016 after he looked to play a game of soccer with a group of unprivileged kids. Cat Williams has always been a comedian who has stressed authenticity and honesty, especially through comedy. Which leads us to our next reason. Many speculate the reason why Cat never crossed over into white mainstream comedy, despite having the talents to do so, is his decision to always stay true to himself and not watering himself down for the mainstream audiences. Cat's brand of comedy appeals mostly to a black demographic, and he's remained unapologetic about that. Even Cat's peers agree that he's a legend and has always done things his own way. Hollywood. For a while now, Cat Williams and Kevin Hart have been involved in a jaw rule and 50 cent type beef with their dislike for each other. Last year, Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish appeared on The Breakfast Club in September of 2018, where they addressed some of Cat Williams' comments, in which Cat would point out Haddish's comedy flaws, as well as some criticism towards Hart. Kevin would voice his frustrations about Cat, claiming that Cat ruined his own plight in Hollywood. You point at Hollywood and the white man. When do you take responsibility for your actions? You had the shot. You were the guy. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You effed off promo shoots. You became a risk to the studios, which is why they stopped effing with you. Now going back to Williams' hidden Instagram account, it appears he would go on to respond to Hart with a meme suggesting why Hart was more visible than him in Hollywood. The meme would go on to read, When you understand why Kevin Hart is bigger in Hollyweird than Cat Williams. Hashtag that part. Along with a picture of Kevin in a dress and him kissing his co-star, The Rock, during a movie scene. Family Man. Now behind the scenes, Cat Williams has built a respected body of work, all while being a single father to eight children. Six of his eight children are adopted. It's good being a father, and I didn't have to go all the way to Africa to find these. So upon hearing that, it would appear that when he's not on stage, he's serving as a provider for eight different individuals, and has taken all of the responsibility that comes with parenting. Although Cat hasn't completely retired from stand-up and the industry, he's definitely taken a step back. Since the retirement announcement, Cat has only appeared in a total of three movies. As Cat continued to focus on his personal life, Hollywood looks to have decided to go elsewhere with his choice for their go-to black comedian. And it wasn't until 2018 where Williams would return to our TV screens after a decade to guest star on an episode of Atlanta playing Alligator Man. In order to ensure that he was ready for the role, Williams would go to great lengths. I interned at an alligator farm for three and a half weeks just so I could get comfortable enough that we didn't use a stuntman. I really adopted the alligator into my home and became so comfortable with it that it was like working with another co-star. When series creator, star, writer, and director Donald Glover hired Williams for the role, he told him, I'm gonna try to get you an Emmy for this. Williams would go on to respond, all right, we'll see, you the only person who can say that right now. Donald Glover would actually end up coming through on his promise, as Cat would go on to win an Emmy for Outstanding Guest Actor in a comedy series in September of 2018 his first nomination and win. Williams followed up his role in Atlanta with a well-received guest appearance on ABC sitcom Blackish in 2019. Cat Williams is regarded as one of our generation's greats, as he will represent a time in comedy much like Red Fox, Cosby, Pryor, Murphy, Chris Rock, Chris Tucker, and Dave Chappelle. Whether he's on a hiatus for the time being, his mark in comedy cannot be removed. And for those who may count him out, don't forget, cats have nine lives.